this is the start of the hiking trail I guess the trail we went down was just to get to the fishing area oh yeah this is much easier to walk probably hear this ATV running this guy talked to me a little bit told me the trail goes all the way around that lake I was showing you there you go burn some energy not too bad it's actually flattened quite a bit because people have been taking fat tire bikes out here well there's the sky I really can, because of the sun, I can't see my phone screen very well. But I think I'm getting a good shot of stuff. It's really hard to tell. There you go, yeah, stay on the trail. There you go. Let her buck. There we go. Pretty nice though, I bet it'll be really nice in the spring. Probably want to come hike here again before uh, it gets too full of bugs and ticks. Pretty nice though, it's not bad. All right, come on. Let's move it. It's actually a really nice day out too. Like, I don't know, I'm I'm acclimated to the cold. It's about, it's right around 32 degrees or so. It's just right, hanging right around the freezing point. There we go, that's a nice tree. What a beauty. All right, sweetie, come on. You waiting for mom? Yeah, we'll, we'll go down this a bit and we'll just we'll just see how far we want to go before we turn around. Probably do the whole thing today if I was by myself, but since I got the little one with me, we'll just go until she gets tired. I'm imagining I'll probably have to carry her back, so. It's really pretty out here, though. All the leafless trees, the shadows running on the snow. Kind of reminds me of a Les Cuba painting. If you don't know who Les Cuba is, he's from Minnesota. He's a artist, does a lot of uh, nature and wildlife type paintings. You should uh, Google that up if you've never heard of Les Cuba. He made a lot of good art in his day. All right, come on, keep her moving. Keep her moving. Yeah, there you go. Come on. What you got here? Oh yeah. Someone had their dog out here. Just dog tracks. I also see push poles, too, like walking poles, walking sticks, whatever you want to call them. Oh, man. So this is the extent of the trail markers here, I guess, for right now. So they still got work to do out here. All right, come on. 
Keep her moving. Come on. Hey, come on. Hey. Hey, come on. All right. There's the lake again. Not bad. Big log right there. Big boy. Boy, this cat. So much easier to walk on the trail. And this one wants to go off-roading. So, we're walking along here. The old lady spots this, oh, geocache. Do not disturb, this is an official game piece. What does that mean? I'm just gonna open it. I'm not gonna do anything bad to it. Uh, I don't know, I guess people leave stuff in here. Kind of weird, but here's cards in here. I'll take one of these. Let's see what that's all about. Geocache Aquatic Quest, Greenleaf Lake State Recreation Area. What does my neighborhood look like? I grow entirely underwater. Who eats me? Ducks think I'm yummy. What am I home for? My dense small growth creates habitat for small aquatic animals. Huh. I'll take this with. Ooh. Canada waterweed. Huh. All right. Very cool. Well, let's keep her moving. All right, then you went on here. Actually, a nice little walk in the woods here. Looks like we got a game trail cutting through here. Going down. Here we go. Oh, here, rooster. Must be from the farm over there. Huh. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's a game trail. Yeah, hang on. Carrying the little one now. She's getting a little tired, I think, but I guess trudging through the snow with short little legs isn't the easiest. Daddy will carry her for a while. Oh, imagine I'll have to carry her out of here, too. Yeah, you having fun? Is it fun? No, you don't have to walk? Yeah. Well, it looks like somebody made a shortcut. Those are fat uh, tire bike treads. 
guess they didn't want to do that extra loop there. They just got on through. Yeah. Not bad. Coming up on a little drainage, it looks like. Oh, it's trickling a little bit. How much? Looks like critters coming through there too. It's kind of drains out into the lake there. That's a little, a little pond. I'm walking down the trail, and then I just hit a straight up T. So I have no idea. Their map is very undetailed and uh, there's no fork on the map either so I don't know I'm gonna have to probably explore this place a little more when uh, I don't got a, a kid with me but maybe we'll just go down there a little bit and we'll see uh, see what that's all about that way next time, if that just goes over to the edge of the lake or something, then we know next time we go that way. I'm just going to do this little section here alone. Well, the family just sits at that intersection and just chills for a bit. It's like people bringing the snowmobiles through here. Not recently, but I don't know if motorized vehicles are allowed. Yeah. Let's see what we got down here. I'm gonna hustle so I don't keep them waiting too long. I wish they had this mapped out better. I just, uh, I guess that's part of exploring sometimes, though. You just walk the trails and see where it brings you. A lot of, uh, actually quite a bit of, like, wind damage in this area. Kind of crazy. I think that actually is the way you're supposed to go. We're not gonna do it today, maybe tomorrow. I'll come back out here. I'll drop the little one off at grandma's and we'll uh, be able to explore a little farther. Sometimes it's dragging around 30 pounds of dead weight, you know. Makes it a little tougher cover distance. Oh wow. Yeah, this must be the way to go. I'm thinking. Here's the trail. And it looks like you you follow just like this little bank. I don't know how well you can see it. This little bank just runs right along there between these two lakes. There's another that's another lake over there. And then you continue on through the woods on the backside. And then that tree line back there. And then it just keeps going until, let's see if we can find an opening here so we can try to find this cabin here quick. Because the guy talked to me, the parking area, he said that a trail goes all the way to this cabin. Oh, there it is. Let's see if I can get a, get a zoom in and see if I can get a steady shot. There it is. I don't know if you can see that. But you can see that little patch of white. That's a rough. So the trail goes all the way along the lake. Ooh. All the way back through here. I'll zoom back out and back to this trail. So 
Not bad. All right, we're gonna head back. Probably cut it right here, and then uh, we'll hike back. Shit. Just want some thorns. I didn't see them, but I felt them. So, we'll cut a chart. When we get back to the parking area, I'll, uh, I'll show you the sign. You'll see how undetailed the map is. It's, or if that's, you know, everything's covered in snow. So, with everything covered in snow, I just, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to uh, know exactly where the established trails are. You'll see, you know, at least it kind of beaten down. That other trail at that intersection that goes the other way, don't even know if that's a real trail. Somebody took a snowmobile through there and then other people decided to hike it and, or what the deal is. But, yeah, I'll see you guys back at the parking area. Yeah, that's right. We drive on the lake here. That's how she goes. What are you doing? Just eating snow over there? Probably shouldn't eat all the snow. Say some of the rest of us. Alright. Well, that's what it looked like here in the 1800s, I guess. That's all farms now. That's not, that's not the big woods. Oh, that almost looks like the real thing, huh? Like I'm actually in the woods. All right. So, here's that hiking trail I was talking about. Okay, well, apparently, so, this is where we're at, and then if I want to follow the trail, I went this way, and then down here, this is where, so I guess the trail just ends here. This is where mushrooming is, so that's what that intersection was. This way was the way I went, and then there was that, like, little ridge, and then this goes all the way over here. So, we went, you know, psh, not quite halfway today. So... Maybe tomorrow we'll come out here and try to do the whole thing. I'll leave out the beginning part of the trail because I already got that footage. And I'll get the rest of that. Ends at a, that cabin I was showing you, I guess. Let's see here. There's the nearby emergency info. Rules to know. That's no fun. So there's no camping out here. Coles is at 10. No permit, you gotta park in the parking area. Pets on a leash, you can't even let the dog run out here. I guess it's to keep other people safe, in case someone comes out here with a poorly trained dog. And you can't even collect firewood here and have a fire. You gotta buy it from an approved place. So that's actually kinda not fun, but as far as coming for like the day, to go to the pier and maybe catch some fish and or go for a little hike around the lake. I mean, this is kind of a nice area. Plus, uh, this is the public access and parking area here. So it's not, it's not bad. It's also winter too. So um, I'll probably come out here and do another video in the springtime, maybe the summer. Probably spring uh, when the stuff's blooming, but the bugs ain't so bad yet. Um, if I come here in the summer, I'm going to have to take a bath and bug spray. Um, that's pretty much it. So, out here for a couple hours. Checked out a few things. Um, I think it's probably time to go. My, uh, my kid's eating snow here. So, uh, probably call her a day. Thanks a lot for coming with us, guys.